welcome to this edition of Carbs. The only show where I sit in the car and BS walk at Subi Carbs. No, he did not try to just break into my car and rob me. This is Q the Critic. What up? Only the second black man I've ever allowed in my vehicle. So we are at Daddy O's in Upland. We, I believe that this is like their downtown Upland, but uh, they are a small little mom and pop burger joint. And you can go ahead and click right here, go over now. It's, this is like the real review. Cause Q, what did you do on your channel? I ate a hamburger. What was it called though? It was uh, the Big Daddy's you Cheeseburger. I remember. So if you want to see big, that, a lot of meat in my mouth. We also chatted about uh, Mel Gibson and his just unbelievable ability to have small children flash him for some reason. But yeah, that's click weird. right there, go over there and check out that review because that is the big. That's like one of their big. That's their big seller, I guess. That will bring yeah. people in. But uh, I want to be a little different. That's their big selling burger. So I had uh, her make up some hot dogs because hot dog is another thing that's on the menu. Uh, and I am a simple person by <laughs> every scale. So I had it. It just has uh, mayo, mustard, and uh, and uh, ketchup on it. And uh, yeah, you have also our curly fries, which These look amazing. Fries are really good. Yeah, they look really good. The seasoning on them looks perfect. And she just. An all-around super nice person. Had a nice little conversation with her. If you do happen to be in Upland, go ahead and check out the location. I'll try to put, uh, if there's like a, a, I don't think she has a website, but if there is, I'll put it. They also, have social media. They got Instagram. Yeah, I'll and put Twitter all of their and... little stuff and their little uh, social media crap down below in the description. But I'm going to try this fry. I had to watch him eat first, so I'm f***ing starving. It's not my fault you were hungry. Oh, my God. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. These are really good. Oh, my God. Yeah. I like... The seasoning is just perfect. It's they're not crispy. too much. Even yeah. mine are cooling down a little bit, and they're still good. You know what? That's what I was going to say. The same thing. Because a lot of people will say in and outs fries are the best, right? But they're, once in and out fries get cold, they're terrible. They're horrible. They're they horrible. Are, they are, you have to eat them in the first two minutes. Otherwise, it's over. It's but end game. Jeff taught me to order in and out fries well done. Okay. And that steps them up so much. Like, But um, these, these are awesome. Yeah. Like, usually... These types of thick fries you can really only find at, say, like Red Robin or like a sit down place. Right. They're like a bigger joint, but these are really, really good. Dip them in ranch. That adds a little flavor. You're coughing like you're sick. You can go, go to hell. Here, dip them in ranch. Go to hell and die. I'm not sick. You're coughing. I'm not like, coughing. Well, like, oh, yeah, you are. I right. don't have bird flu. It's like African American monkey flu. Here, take your damn hot dog. You're going to eat this with me. Thank you. All right, let's do this. I like that the, the way that she cooked it, too, how she grilled it. That's nice. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, that's real good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like the burger, that toasted bun really adds a, a flavor to it. It changes the texture game to the point where it's just like completely different. Like, say... I'm going to cheat and dip mine in ranch. Say, like, <clears throat> my mom... Well, would do hot dogs growing up, but you know, you just do the thing where you just she cooks the hot dogs, you throw it into a bun, you're done. But mm -hmm. like, just taking the extra time to mess with the actual bun and just give it a little more crispiness that changes it completely. It's it's actually really good. <laughs> I'm not coughing, I'm not coughing. You don't want bird flu, <laughs> or is it swine flu that's back? They're all coming back because of Jenny McCarthy telling everybody don't vaccinate anymore because. Because I said so. Because I read one article, and I am a specialist now. <laughs> she's a moron. She is a moron. God, she's so hot, though. Jen McCarthy. But that's what makes her a moron. It's okay. Hot no, it's okay. I'm going to allow her to live because, Jenny McCarthy, you're super hot. But, man, don't give me advice about vaccination, please. Don't Jimmy, have children, either. Jimmy Kimmel said it the best. He's like, if, if you are not going to accept experts in the field of vaccinations opinion then you shouldn't be taking your children to the doctor in general because how would they know more than you right <laughs> yeah, he's so right yeah this is an amazing hot dog i really really enjoy this it's excellent i think what puts it over the top for me the grilled texture it's the grilled texture yeah 100 percent. because i don't like burnt things so one <clears throat> one thing growing up i did not like at all we were going on camping trips and my grandfather would make hot dogs for everybody, mm -hmm. but he loved to charcoal burn everything. He would do the buns. He would do the hot dogs. Everything would just be burnt. And I, I remember like that turned me off. That's why I kind of preferred hot dogs to just be the bun not cooked or anything. Right. Because I had a kind of a phobia. So and your grandpa likes black stuff. He did. Now he is definitely worm food at this point, but that's okay. Grandpa, 
You don't even know what's happening anymore. You know nothing, but it's okay because you don't know anything, so you can't really have negative opinions about anything, right? Do you think he secretly slept with, like, the slaves he had, though? <laughs> How could he be not that old? He's not, like, 30, 300 years old. <laughs> what do you mean? Slavery was, like, 10 years ago. No, it was obliterated 298 years ago, exactly, on the date. In America? Yeah, exactly. Really? So, uh, but, yeah, he, he kind of made me have a phobia of burning things. because Chris it was said just... that, I would believe it. I don't believe you. I don't believe I don't you. believe anything Chris says. I believe everything Chris but, says. But uh, she did it just perfectly. She gave it just enough, a little bit of burn that I, that I just love it. I mean, this is probably... The perfect hot dog besides going to, say, like, Dodger Stadium and getting, like, a Dodger dog or something. And even then, I would actually put this uh, against that. I would. Uh, I really enjoy this. Dodger I would dogs aren't grilled, though. No, but I mean, just in general, those are kind of like the standard. Like, when you think of that, other than maybe pinks. Mm -hmm. But, I like, I remember I had pinks a long time ago. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like, like it very much. All. No. I think <laughs> they rely too much on uh, the stuff that they put on the hot dog and rather than making the hot dog really good. Right. But uh, I would rate this. It's a very, very solid five. <laughs> it's amazing. It's good stuff. Uh, the prices are right. And like I said, just, just the fact that she is a little mom and pop shop and she is unbelievably nice is a and change of pace. She's super humble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very humble lady. Yeah, not like me. And she loves what she's doing. Not like this guy right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Terrible. My dick is pretty moderately big compared to his. But I thought your dick got cut off. No, yours yours is like huge, but I look okay in comparison to you. I don't look great because oh. you know genetics. But yeah, this is good. What would you rate this Q on um, a reckless eating scale? On a reckless eating scale, yeah. five out of five. No, yeah, it's very good. I I think just all around, I want to try more stuff from there. And she's gonna be, I guess, like slowly expanding the menu a little bit. So we'll definitely do more. But go ahead. Check this place out. It's Daddy O's in Upland. Help support the little guys. And check out all the social media links down below. Give them follow, likes, blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff. And also make sure to check out Hugh's review on the centerpiece of this place. The, the hamburger. The Big Daddy O Burger. Big the Daddy, Daddy O O O Burger. <laughs> that was good. That cough actually worked really well with that, that spot. So that's that, guys. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Carbs. And we'll see you on the next episode. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!